Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. That's what I tell them. I've been grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals, I go out and I go get it, how to code, that's all I know, I don't succeed, then I don't breathe, success, what does it mean, if I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream, dig deep, go out and get it, success chronicles, compete until it's finished, success chronicles, go take care of your business, success chronicles, it's deeper than just winning, success right. hey, what's up everybody, this is Chip Baker coming to you with another episode of the Success Chronicles. I'm truly excited for this one to have uh, Mr. Steve Rogers on with us, a great man. I've uh, been blessed and fortunate to achieve some really cool things that's making a huge impact uh, in the community and in business. I'm so excited to have an opportunity to sit down and share his journey with him uh, so you can get some of these gems to use in your life. So, so first, I just want to say thanks so much for taking the time to interview with the Success Chronicles. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, happy to be here, happy to share some, hope some good gems, and kind of talk about my success to where I have today. Yes, sir. Well, if you don't mind, uh, just kind of discuss your journey. You know, where you're from, you know, how it was for you growing up. Uh, to to where you are now, I know it's a lot of steps in there, <laughs> but uh, little, 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 yeah, the uh, cliff no birds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Born and raised here in, in Houston. Uh, uh, grew up initially over in uh, Cashman Garden mm -hmm. uh, area town. Moved out to uh, North Forest area in the third grade. Uh, attended all North Forest uh, schools. Graduated from Emory Smiley mm -hmm. uh, class of 1986. Uh, Went to school uh, at TCU on a track scholarship. Um, Didn't know that. Opportunity to 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 win the uh, 400 meters uh, state in '86, which got me that scholarship. Let's so, go! So I was very uh, blessed and excited to be able to attend college on a free ride. Um, at TCU, uh, pledged Kappa Alpha Psi, Spring '88, and graduated uh, Spring '92. Uh, with a degree in communications. And um, after graduation, I was going to stay in Fort Worth, but I um, came back home. I uh, didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. I uh, was able to land a uh, position with a company called Paul Mitchell, selling an aircraft product. Yep. Yep. Uh, didn't know exactly what that was and what that looked like, but um, got a chance to do some, some research on it and found out that Paul Mitchell is pretty strong in the hair care industry. Uh, and there, my role was to go out and help develop the black haircut market with Paul Mitchell. Okay. So, um, I'm tasked with going in all these black hair salons and barbershops and introducing this product to them. Yeah. Um, so, I uh, did know also at that time that those barbers and stylists were, to me, kind of like influencers back then. Right. Uh, everybody had to come through them, get their hair cut, get their mm -hmm. hair done. So, they'd be sitting there and in their chairs, getting their hair done, and these styles would be, you know, talking to them about whatever. Uh, so I kind of got them on board with me early on in my, uh, I guess, business of promoting. Um, so worked for Paul Mitch for five years. Um, took a leave of absence in 1995 to venture out and do my own thing. I uh, started a company called Bottom Line Production. Uh, my first event or production was doing hair shows. So we did a thing called Hair Battle. Yeah. Every January. Uh -huh. Uh, MLK weekend was yeah. a, big, a big deal. So uh, I did that for 10 years. And from there, uh, kind of got into the whole uh, promotion space of running nightclubs. So my first nightclub we did was a spot called Tonic downtown on Tuesday night. It was called Venom Down Tuesdays. And uh, Great success. We had all the Rockets players there. That's when Steve Francis was there, uh, uh, Catino, mm -hmm. Gucci Nards. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he was able to kind of get into a night where a lot of the games fell on Tuesday night. So he was always hosting after parties. So those guys came out and helped to really get the night going. Uh, from there, um, the next big night was uh, M Bar, M uh, Milkshake on Thursday nights. 
So I think that's the night that kind of laid the blueprint to the whole new nightlife scene. This was pre in the mix. This was pre internet. Uh -huh. uh, a lot of stuff was pre. Right. So um, we was able to create a, a night in a space where celebrities would just come through. It was not a paid thing. It was just coming through the day out. We you know people were changing their reservations. Uh, you know, changing their their, uh, their plans to leave out of town just to hang out at uh, at Milkshake on Thursday night. So um, that was a beautiful, beautiful moment uh, in history. People still we talk about, about that today. Yeah, today. So uh, and from there, we just kind of went on and, and created other nights about the city. Glow on Saturday night. Uh, Plan B at Belvedere. Uh, Sunday night lasted for 12 years. Um, and from there, we kind of went and did our own thing to be more of an operator. Our first uh, uh, operator experience was at a place called Sugar Hill okay. on sophomore and then third floor. Um, so from there, um, Prospect Park mm -hmm. um, helped to open up uh, Turkey Leg Hut, um, Mark 15, Faces, Warwick, um, Rock House, uh, Off the Record, and well, that's the that's the newest that's spot. Stuff, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's so, what uh, I really want to make sure we talk. So we're at we're at war right, right now. Yeah. Uh, but I, I want to hit on uh, the new spot. Let's yeah. talk about that a little bit because that is uh, and that's a dope environment. Thank like, you. like I think it's. I'll talk about that if you don't mind. Well, that whole thing came about. Uh, we, you know, we just looking at what's the next. I won't say wave, but what's the next thing that that's that people would, would enjoy. Uh, I think right now, um, what you'll see and experience is it's kind of a lot of the same in the city right now. Mm -hmm. Everybody got a grass wall. Yes. Everybody got laptops. Right. Everybody got a puka. Uh, <laughs> you know, so we're trying to create something, to create something different. And so just doing a little research, I think the whole speakeasy vibe and scene, I think, when it's something fresh, something new. And just kind of want to explore that. I love the wall, like the speaker wall. Yeah. The rec that's, that's pretty you. amazing. Thanks, good stuff. So you, you do lots in the community as well. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, discuss some of the, the things that you have going on in the community, the things that you're doing to give back. We do. Uh, we've been doing a lot for the last four years uh, in the community. Uh, every Christmas we do a thing. Uh, we give away uh, gas. Um, uh, we go to a designated spot and and, and pay uh, to get everybody gas for the while spot last. Uh, we've been doing that for the last two years. This year is happening on December like 19th, and typically we do it over in the, in the third ward area. Um, we've given, we pay for people uh, um, bill for the light bills. Mm -hmm. um, We've done things, bike rides for cancer. Yes. We've had um, a monthly uh, 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 bike ride that we did that kind of wanted to get people out, outside and have them explore across the city that they don't normally see. Um, it's all something that, that we're trying to do to, to get back and kind of lean in and kind of get back. Good stuff. So, you know, as I hear you discuss um, your journey, uh, all of the amazing things that you've been blessed and fortunate to do and achieve, the community, you know, the businesses, I would consider that to be hugely successful. So let's let's hit on success. What is, what is your definition of success? Hmm. I think um, success is you know setting some some goals, writing some goals down, and, mm -hmm. and achieving them. Um, I think. Uh, I learned that early on with Paul Mitchell was to always set goals. If you can, if you can think it, you can always put something down on paper where you can look back on it. I love that. Kind of see it and kind of check it out. And uh, I've been doing that for the last 
probably 18 years. I've got papers from the last 18 years of things I've always wanted to do. Yeah. I'd go back and look at those things and, and see those things checked off. If you can think it, ink it. Think it, yeah. That's good. It's a gem. <laughs> I, I, I want to go get some <laughs> okay. gems, so I just had to tell them, yeah. too. Yeah. That's a gem. <laughs> But uh, so I so agree with that, and I, and I think also too, like you know, as you talked about that, I think like even small successes build to big success, right? right? Exactly. So like you like you stack it, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think also you, know, you got to have got to have a great team around you to mm -hmm. achieve the success, and, and and to be honest, everything don't hit. Yeah, you know, so right. those are those are wins, and those uh -huh. are I think a form of success also because you can always kind of take something from that and mm -hmm. build on it and, and go to the next project, or to the next concept, to the next thing, and kind of learn from it. I, I love you. You said that too. Like I don't, I think it, it's all about our perspective, perspective right? right? Like like how we view what we do will always affect how we do what we do, right? And so I think that you know it's not. It's not winning and, and losing. It's winning and learning. Right. Just like you said, you know, like you know, it all it all didn't hit. Yeah. yeah. But I was able to learn some lessons yeah. within that, and then the next thing next will is I learned what not to yeah. do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Not gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. So, you know, one thing that I know that I see, you know, just in following you from afar and rooting from you from from afar, you know, I see that like self care is important. Uh, you know, like you said, the, the bike deal that you guys do, or the physical fitness. But why why is self care important? Uh, I think it, it, it helps you in, in, in your everyday life with just with with uh, being able to you know think clearly, uh, you know have the the strength, um, the motivation, all that. And I think if you're you know, if you're active, you know. You can you, you can be you know you can do more right uh, you know so true some days I it was time when I didn't do as much as I wanted to do I took maybe five or six months off of not running or getting up doing something and I can feel the difference and uh, but I've been on this I guess journey for the last maybe six seven months and really staying focused and, and, and walking and running and I can I can see the difference I can feel the difference in the way I move where I think I'm up the very morning and, and just attack my mind. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Get a lot done also when you wake right. up early and get it. Knock it out. Knock it out. Yeah. 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 I'm the same way. I I bet I better catch you early because if I don't catch you <laughs> early, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's tough. Once you get your day going and, and uh and you know, the meetings, the distractions or whatever and you know you look up and it's five or six and you just miss opportunities to get out there and you can get something done. That's good. And it's not always easy. You know, there's, there's, right. there's mornings when, when you're not feeling it. There's mornings when yeah. I, you know, I'm taking a day off and, and I have something to trigger. I, I hear something or put on something and, and triggers me to break it you know, get out there. Get it. That's good. That's good. So self care is important. That's another gym. I got to get them there. Yeah. That's another gym. Self care is important. All right, so let's let's go business. You know, I heard you talk about uh, you know the, the the business ventures that you've had, of starting with the Knights and then you know going into you know your own deal and opening it up. You know, and some of those, well, not some, all of those spots that you have had have been pretty good. Um, really, kind of change the city, if you will. I mean, you yeah, know, as yeah. far as some things. I think that's uh, fair. Okay. Yeah. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah. We, we've, uh, I think, early on, um, I think we was always wanting to do the right thing in business. You know, we always wanted to create a, a great product. We always wanted to, you know, pay attention to details. We always wanted to do what we say we was going to do. Yes. You know, uh, I think that is, you know, got us to this point right now when we open up something, people kind of know what they expect. They kind of know that, you know, it's going to be a good product. They know we're going to deliver. Um, it's a lot easier yes. now to open up a new concept versus maybe 10 years ago. Right. Because we've got a fan base that knows and respect what we do and what we say. We're going to follow you. Follow you. Yeah. Follow you. Yeah. I think, too, um, I'll say this. I think the, 
the high level of consistency. 100% consistency right? is crucial. Yeah. Very, very, you're right, consistency. Like I, think, I think you know, and you said this too, like you know, like they know, or I know, or we know, <laughs> the level of product that it's going to be from Steve Rogers, yeah, yeah. right? It's going to be consistent. It's going to be, like you said, doing things the right way, doing things, treating people right, you know, helping helping people for causes, yeah. you know, and it's all good that comes from it. And we don't, and I, we have meetings, you know, I meet with my staff, uh, we meet every week, uh, we're in a meeting right now, uh-huh. and, uh, and we talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, and we stress the importance of consistency, like you said, yes. there's so many restaurants, so many bars in town that people can go to, and for someone to drive over here, to fight through traffic, you know, Valley Park. Yeah. You know, we have to deal with doormen yeah. talking about dress codes and, and, and <laughs> to get in, you know, you can't take that lightly. So you gotta right. you know, you gotta be consistent with the product, the food, the drinks, yeah. the hospitality, everything gotta be consistent. I love that. Yeah. So you know, you talk, going from consistency, you hit on like having meetings, have gotta have a great team. Let's let's hit on on teamwork, you know how uh, just talk about the importance of having the right people right. on your team, and then maybe even going a little deeper of like in business, if there's someone that's you know striving to you know be in the shoes of Steve Rogers, like what are, who are some key people that you have to have on that team? Hmm. You know, you got to be um, aligned in a way that that everybody feels respected. And um, you know, as a voice, you know, I, I have several different partners on several different <laughs> concepts, and you know, we all respect each other. You know, every every partnership is not always um, a personal relationship that's there. Where we that makes sense. go to dinner or yeah. go to I'm at his house, we hang it out, but we can come to to the meeting every Tuesday and we'll talk about the business. Uh, everybody has an area of responsibility that they handle from the food to the bar to the building maintenance to admin that they handle. Right. So when we come to the meeting on every week, everybody go on the table and everybody have 15, 20 minutes to talk about that. That area, okay, of, of the business. Yes, and so we have systems in place to where, you know, if something goes wrong with, with the bar, I know you can just call. Let's see, who's the right? Who to call? Who's the person for that system? Yeah, let me, let me before you go on. That's another gem. Right. Got to have systems in place. Yeah, all right, yeah. carry on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> systems are crucial. Systems are crucial. Like I think, I think systems like. We could do a whole podcast on, systems. on, on having systems in place. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's not a function where we just, you know, I, I know a lot of people. Um, you know, I get DMs and, and calls, and people want to be in the business, and people want to invest, people want yeah. to make money, and they they're on our side looking in, they thinking it's a party. <laughs> you know, no. they can party, or they think we print money. You know? <laughs> but it's, it's it's a lot that goes into it, and it's a lot of systems in place to right. ensure that if we try to try to I love that. I love that. So, what I want to do now. Uh, I wasn't gonna say now to the to the good part, but it's all been good for me. <laughs> but uh, what I want to do now is just throw some words at you or phrases, and if you don't mind, just talk about what comes to mind or to heart uh, when you hear these words or phrases. You good with that? Yeah. All right. So, so the first first phrase I want to give you is quality relationships. Mm. Come on, um, crucial man. You know, yeah. Um, you know, you know, people talk about you know how important relationships are, uh, how important uh, locations are, and, and mm-hmm. how important the, the rent is, and analytics. You know, analytics. Yeah, yeah. So I think I think you, you have to throw how important relationships are also <laughs> to the key. I think you 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 never know. In this business, who you're gonna see again? Uh, I've gotten 
see guys that were door, doormen for me and Yale Bar. Mm. Now they're bar owners. That's awesome. So you got, I've got young ladies that was a, a server. Now she's the head person at Houston with Doucet. You know, so you never know. You got to treat people with, with respect. Yes, sir. Um, and again, you never know. You never know you're going to need. You never know when, when you're going to see them again. All that. So it's crucial to always do the business. It's always good to give with, with respect. It's always good to pay people. Hey, hey. <laughs> All that. I had to sit up in my chair on that one. Yeah. Hey, my mom always say, boy. Uh, treat, make sure you treat people right. You never know who, who you're gonna need to help you. Yeah, hundred percent. And and I think it's important to make sure that we always yeah. strive to show that respect, strive to do that. Because here's another thing she said: boy, it ain't about you. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Right. And yeah. I think too, when you when you understand that and live with a servant's heart, then you have those things Sorry, happen yeah. Yeah. because you're taking care of people. people. Yeah. And 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 not that you're doing that to get that in return. But oh man, it comes back yeah, to yeah, you yeah. like in support. Yeah. You know how you talked about the support, like people know what they're gonna get, so yeah. they're gonna support. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. And and uh, most of the time, like I so said, when you're doing these things when you're doing the the right thing. Yes. You know, you're not looking for instant gratification. You're not looking for that. You know, and I think right. you know, if, if you're doing the right thing, it's gonna come back. Period. Period. Then you can put a period on there. <laughs> it's gonna come back for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right. So the the next phrase I wanna give you is living and learning. Living and learning. I think uh, you know you always gotta always seek you know new new information, new new lot, new knowledge. I think it's it's uh, you're never at a space or a point in time when you you know not seeking new information and I love that and trying to learn learn things. Um, I think also you know again we talk about every everything not being. You know, uh, success or everything always uh, getting, uh, you know, being a winner. You know, you you learn from those situations and 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 take it in and, and then go to the next deal with a better understanding of what to do and what not to do. Um, you know, never approaching situations from a uh, a point or a space of. Of, uh, of arrogance when you know it all or you got it all figured out or uh, you can't be and you, know, you can't learn nothing new or you can't learn something from anybody right um, I think you always got to have an open mind to where you can you, know, you can you, you can learn and, and, and to grow um, especially if you want to stay current if you want to stay relevant if you want to stay you know, in the know and, and successful, you know, you can always be seeking knowledge on on something new and and just learning from, you know, mistakes and learning from the success also. You know, not taking, you know, things for granted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's always it's always a big opportunity for for learning moments and you know, you have to be open open to that. Uh, open and willing. Yeah, open and willing. Yeah. That's good. So the last one I want to give you, I'm going to pause a little bit before I give you this one. And then I'm going to tell you, hey, this is the good one right here. This is the good one. So the last one I want to give you is legacy. Hmm. Come on. Legacy. You know, we, I, I've, uh, I have two, two, two daughters now, uh, one 28 and one 16. And I know, you know, a lot of talk, you know, people, I guess the buzzwords now is, is, is generational wealth, mm -hmm. you know, li leaving that legacy and, yes. and, and all that. And, and, you know, you want to have those things in place for 
for them. Um, you know, I started, I, I think, working on my legacy years ago and just really not not knowing it or not being that intentional about it. But was always doing, like I said, doing the right thing and trying to create product that was special, trying to create marketing stuff that was special, that stood out. And really not knowing, again, not saying, hey, I'm doing this here for my legacy, but just doing things that I thought was the right thing, the right thing to do. Yeah. And, and I hear, you know, people talk now about, you know, things and such deference. Talk, man, man, M bar, man, I remember you did this flyer that looked like a blue jean denim yeah. fabric. Uh -huh. Man, I remember when, you know, you, we did this here, and I think we're creating something special right now with um, at 5015 with our Legends Only concert. Yes, you know, super special. Yeah, super special. And I, <laughs> I think when history tells itself, you know, people, you know, 10 years back, we said, man, you remember when 5015 oh. had Busted Rhymes there? I'm man, hey. Blah, blah, blah. So again, and we I, already do that. It ain't even been, <laughs> it ain't been, it ain't been 10 years. years. So, Every time we see, like, yeah, yeah like, so not, like, so not doing things thinking about legacy, but just doing things that you think are special. You create these mm -hmm. these moments and these memories. I, I, I think that's what we've been really big on is creating these these moments for people, these uh, snapshots of people yeah. that they can go back and look at and, and they say, hey, I remember we used to go do this. I mean, I remember you had this and I remember you did that. And I think that what you know drives me also is to to, to create these special memories and moments for people to be able to look back, you know, ten years of so and say, hey, man, that was that was special. Yeah. Creating those magic moments. Yeah. Because those magic moments make magic memories. Yeah. 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 They, don't, they don't fade. Don't no, they don't fade. Yeah. Well as we wrap up, uh is there is there anything uh that I didn't because I want to make sure I give you like if there's anything that you would like to speak on or that's on your heart mm -hmm. that, that I didn't hit on and ask you the question. I love to give you opportunity to do that. You know, I would, I would say just for any young entrepreneurs, man, just, you know, always, you know, seek knowledge. Uh, I would say also go out and seek mentorships also. Mm -hmm. Look for mentors. I love that. You know, That's good. Um, I had a guy that I uh, used to promote this club. Uh, um, it was Tonic and it was Belvedere. And a guy named Lee Ellis. He just passed back in May this year. And... Um, when I met him, you know, was kind of older white gentleman, you know, you know, was very abrasive, very rough, but he was special. He was creative. He was organized. You know, uh, had a, had an eye for detail, and uh, probably after working for him for maybe seven years, I, I just asked him, you know, would he be my mentor? And you know, he agreed. He would, he would share a lot of things with me. So, uh, and you never know where that's going to come from, you know. So, uh, I would say, you know, seek out mentors. Also, I think that will help you get to where you are a lot quicker. Also, that when you said that, that that gave me a life reflection. Like I was thinking about life. You know, so many people I've been blessed to cross paths with that, um, like in going into it, kind of like how you said. Like I didn't. I wasn't going to to gain anything. Yeah. I was just trying to do things the right way. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. But but coming from that, out of those experiences, you build quality relationships. You learn so many things by being in the fire together. Right. You know, uh, learning. Hey, yeah, we don't need to do that anymore. Yeah. Like, let's not do that. Like, this was good for us, but that was bad, and then move on. Move on. Yeah. 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 So that was good. So as we close, I love for you to just you know kind of share where people can go follow you check you out show you some love come to your your venues and show you some love too because there's some special things going on at those places I'm uh, you can uh, i guess follow me on my platform uh, mostly i i uh, load things or share things is uh, instagram is i know steve too uh, i know steve too um, the concepts that uh, we have currently going right now is Bar 5015, um, the Warwick uh, Off the Record Listening Bar, 
Rock Faces Ultra Lounge and Rock House Southern Kitchen. Those are the things that we got going right now. That's good. Well, go go show some love. And uh, I want to say again, thank you so much uh, for taking the time out of your busy schedule to hang out and chop it up with the Success Chronicles. Truly appreciate it. And I wish you continued success. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. And thank you guys for checking out this episode. We'll see you next time. God bless. Go get it.